Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss a cone development of lateral surface. Read the question. A cone, base 50 mm diameter, axis 60 mm long, rest with its base on HP. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP parallel to one of the end generators and passing through a point on the axis at a distance of 22 mm from the apex. Draw the sectional top view and develop the lateral surface of the remaining portion of the cone. So it's a basic and interesting problem. We are all known uh, whenever a section plane is parallel to one of the end generators in cone, the true shape will be a parabola. So the sectional top view looks like a parabola as the cutting shape of the solid. So we can start our answer in with respect to xy solid rests with its base on hp rests with its base on hp so top view will be a circle front view will be a triangle so draw a circle which has a diameter of 50 mm so we can divide this circle into eight divisions if you wish being the diameter of circle uh, diameter of this cone as uh, 50 mm we can go for 12 divisions why if you have 12 divisions you may get more accurate answer in the development of cone okay so for me i started with eight divisions you can extend a, a perpendicular vertical projectors to fix the front view front view height it is 60 mm axis height then complete your front view and do a notations as per your wish this is the simple position of the solid always start the simple position with thin lines okay now what is the section plane condition it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to vp parallel to one of the end generator here we are having two end generators o dash a dash another one is o dash e dash where it is exactly traveling passing through a point on the axis at a distance of 22 mm from the apex so what apex what is the meaning of apex this o dash apex or vertex so from the top o dash take 22 mm through this point you have to complete the section plane which is parallel to the end generator o dash a dash now the section plane is completed you can transfer the remaining portion of solid into thick lines so this is the remaining portion of solid identify the cutting points of section plane this is the first cutting point in between which one this is b dash here it is c dash in between b dash c dash base we are having one dash extend a perpendicular projector fix one next is on the axis since it is perpendicular to x y shift so to outermost end generator p dash in generators then you can extend the corresponding in generator is o as e as corresponding in generator in the top view oe o as center this p point as radius draw an arc to fix point two next cutting point on this od o dash d dash three dash extend a perpendicular projector until it cuts od corresponding division make it as three Finally, it is O dash E dash. O dash E dash from that you can extend a perpendicular projector, make it as 4. We have to come back again for the divisions of OF, OG, OH. OF exactly on 3 dash, make it as 5 dash. Already the perpendicular projector is extended. The 3 perpendicular projector, make it as 5. So this is the cutting point. On OG, since this uh, in 2 dash we are going to get 6 dash since it is perpendicular to xy already we cutted an arc to fix 6 next in 1 dash this is where we are going to get 7 dash and 7th cutting point in the top view on the base hg in between h dash and g dash so that is in between h and g okay now you can join one to 
7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay. So, do a hatching. This is the remaining portion of solid. This part, small part is the removed portion. Always change the remaining portion of solid into thick lines. This is our final sectional top view. Okay. Now, the development of lateral surface of the cone. In the previous uh, videos, we have discussed hexagonal pyramid, pentagonal pyramid, hexagonal prism, pentagonal prism. But radial line development method for pyramids and cone. How we solved pyramid problem is we have to use true length of slantage. Here we have to use true length of slant generators. Okay. Before that, we need a radius. How to calculate the intermediate degrees? Okay, the length of the arc of sector. What is the circumference of the base circle is 2 pi r. Uh, true length of slant generators L, but I need theta. L theta is equal to circumference of the base circle. If I need theta means circumference 2 pi r is 2 pi 360 degree into radius r divided by L. What is L? True length of plant generators. O dash A dash or O dash E dash. You measure the distance of O dash A dash gives us 65. Next, theta is equal to 360 degree. The radius of base circle is diameter is 50. So, radius 25 divided by L 65. I am getting it around 138.5 degree. Now, we have to draw an arc. The radius of an arc is, what is the radius of arc? Radius of arc is L is equal to O dash A dash, true length of slant generators. L, true length of slant generators. Theta is equal to 138.5 degree. After marking 138.5 degree, now, we have to divide this 138.5 into 8 divisions. In case you divided the circle into 12 divisions, 138.5 degree divided by 12. Okay. While you are dividing, you may get decimal values. You may not mark exactly that decimal value. You can round off that value into a whole number. So, in that case, Instead of 138.5 degree, if you refer here, you may get 139 or 137. So, plus or minus 2 degrees, you may get. So, that's fine. You can divide based on the values you are obtaining. Divide this into 8 divisions. Here, we divided into 8. So, here also I divided into 8 divisions and give a name. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H finally again A. In case if you are having 12 divisions, here you have to divide this arc in 138.5 degree into 12 divisions. Now the next step we have to transfer all the cutting points of section plane. Before that, always transfer the all the cutting points of section plane into N generator. So 2 dash here you can transfer it as 2 dash and 3 dash finally 4 dash. Okay, now you can mark 1 1. So, 1 1 where we have to mark which is in between B and C. Here you may not get the exact distance. Refer the top view. Refer the top view. In the front view, you may not get the exact inclination value. Because here if you check B and C, measure the distance from B, what is the point of 1? You can mark that point as 1 1. Similarly, for 7. 7 also you can mark in between H and G. From H you can mark the distance and from H you can mark that point 7 1. Okay. So, 1 1 and 7 1 you have to transfer it from the top view. The remaining points we can use from the front view 2 dash. Uh, measure the distance of O dash to 2 dash. 
4 dash to 2 dash on which division OB on which division you have to check OB or OC check carefully friends in OB we are having no cutting point which is cutting the division of OB point number 2 is on O and C so on OC you can mark 2 1 2 dash 6 dash lies on the same point so you can mark 2 1 6 1 using the same distance as radius where you have to mark 6 1 refer carefully again 6 is on OG OG we are having 6 so on OG division you can mark 6 1 next is 3 dash 3 dash and 5 dash on the same point 3 point is on OD 5 is on OF so use this O dash to 3 dash as radius O as center on OD you can mark 3 1 on F O F you can mark 5 1 finally it is 4 dash this 4 dash is exactly on the plant generator nothing but N generator exactly on the N generator O dash to E dash we are having 4 dash so you measure the distance of O dash to 4 dash in generator in between OE we can mark 4 1 now we transferred all the points 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 7 all the cutting points of section plane here you are not supposed to use a scale to join 1 1 or A B B C C D D E E F there is no edge here this is a smooth surface you have to draw by means of freehand without using a scale so you can simply join 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 friends here you have to be careful don't transfer this intermediate divisions into thick lines as we did in pramid in case of pramid we are going to have slant edges o a o b o d so in that we may get like 2 1 2 c 1 2 3 1 2 d 1 is the remaining portion here this divisions purely for our convenience we have extended divided into 8 division or 12 divisions always join only the boundaries for the development of surface of code so this is the final answer of this question development of lateral surface of remaining portion of the code okay if you have any query or any doubt in this question or any development of lateral surface doubt you can put it in the comment box definitely i will answer to your question and if you like this video share the same with your uh, fellow friends and if you wish to check the remaining problems in development of uh, lateral surface in pramid prism cylinder and basic problem in cone you can check the description box for a link or either go to the channel playlist for development of lateral surface thank you